All right, guys, it's a Chef Barry. It's been a while since I've done a video. Honestly, it's been, I don't know, probably four or five months. My life's been extremely chaotic, to say the least, with just work, personal life. If you know about that, you know. If you don't, it is what it is. You don't know. Um, so, in one of my other videos, I think it was my fishing video, I mentioned that working at Cabela's has a lot of perks and advantages outside of employee discounts, which that is amazing by the way um you meet a lot of people that hunt fish whatever so one of the people i work with in the warehouse little gabe a little kid he's like 20 or something he's young um, it's all about duck hunting and we're talking about it and so we're gonna go in a couple days this is a couple days before just cleaning off the cobwebs off the decoys getting them ready it's been probably 12 years since i've gone waterfowl hunting so i'm pretty stoked even though our season ends on the 30th, I believe, um, in Nevada. But this is the start to duck hunting again and waterfowl hunting in general. I used to have so much fun doing it when I was younger, like in grade school and high school. So hopefully we go off, have a fun adventure out in Nevada, chasing some mallards and a big old Canadian geese. So I'm just kind of giving a clean to the decoys and getting them organized. So when we do go, we can just pack and go. All right, so it is late season. It's waterfowl season in Nevada. It's the last week I'm out with my buddy Gabe at a public hunt place. We got a bunch of geese and duck decoys out, so we'll see what happens. The Drake whistle. Yeah, it's a geese like geese. Yeah, the Drake whistle. different than hunting a pit blind. We're hunting in layouts. Brush gun. So you can kind of tell from the GoPro. They're starting to kind of work around us, but we'll see what happens. I see him right there. I do. Right there. No, I do. No. Yeah, I see him now. Dave just texts me going, anything to get out of the truck. <laughs> Whatever, Dave. You're just jealous you're not hunting, too. All right, guys, you can see it's a bluebird day. It's super sunny. Get you in the shade, kind of. It's about like 9 30, 10 o'clock. Um, we had some birds kind of work when it was barely shooting light or shoot time. Nothing really worked out, so we're going to pack it in and then go scout for a field hunt. We're hunting for Friday. So we're going to do a time lapse of picking up the decoys because we're going to do that putting out. 
So yeah, we're gonna get this uh, hunt wrapped up and go scout for the day. All right, well, we got about all the decoys picked up. We just have the blinds and our guns and whatnot to pick up left. We do have some new products at Cabela's this year that are pretty cool. Um, some new Northern Flight Canadian Goose decoys with these amazing triple wide. They're like three by two, so they're double by triple wide slotted decoy bags. They're pretty cool. They're new additions to the Cabela's family of Northern Flight. Um, for the first hunt, they held up pretty well. And of course, the geese start making noise when we're packing out. It's bluebird day, nothing working really. At least where we're at. But I'll show you the triple wide, the double triple wide um, goose bags, slotted decoy bags when we get to the truck. But yeah, no, we like the triple wide bag. It's pretty good. Um, last year they came out with Texas rigs too. Um, you can fit a few texas rigs in the triple wide bag if you try um, you just have to be kind of careful we didn't really try to do it but it is possible man they're really teasing us right now but anyway little homie took his uh side by side up to go drop off the last load and we're gonna pick up the decoy bag or deco bags Ugh. the cabela's renegade um layout blind and then the mobile elite blind gabe's got them both are pretty decent blinds i've never hunted a field blind before like this so it was definitely a new experience i suggest getting a pillow because i'm tall and i need a pillow and it'll be way more comfortable but anyway uh i'll show you the triple wide at the truck see you in a bit all right well gabe's loading up the ranger so we're gonna take a look at the triple wide double wide goose bag it's the Northern Flight Canadian Goose Decoys. They look pretty nice. We like them for their first trip out. They come with round stakes, ground stakes, but the slotted bags are pretty nice. The triple wide ones. The duck ones are three wide by four wide. But yeah, no, they're nice decoy bags. We like them. All right, so we ate lunch, got our sushi fill on. We're out scouting now for Friday. Um, we haven't found nothing too exciting yet, but we're still looking, so we'll keep you posted. All right, so we drove a couple minutes further down this public area that's not being named and found some honkers. I'm going to try to turn this around and get you on the honkers. In a minute. Well, we just found a bunch of honkers that took off, like probably 20 or 30 plus what we don't see over there and a bunch of ducks. All right, so it's the next day at work. I stayed late to meet up with Gabe and talk to about what we did yesterday. So we went scouting and Gabe's gonna let you know the rest. Uh, the spot we found where all the geese were, that's where we're gonna go Friday. Um, it was the best and best option for a Friday. So that's it. Next time you see us, we will be in the field hunting.